So this video is on the HP 10S Plus scientific calculator for logs. So let's say you had the log of base 5, 25. So here you would say the log of 25 divided by the log of 5. It's a rule. So here you would type log 25 divided by the log of 5. Let's see if that works. Equals? Yes. 2. Perfect. So the log of x, base x, 25 equals 2. Ah, ha. Huh. So there's a rule that says um, log of a, b equals c. Might not be exactly like that with the letters, but the rule's right. a to the c power equals b. You can rearrange it. So this you can rearrange to x squared equals 25. x squared equals 25. Take the square root on both sides, then gives you x. Square root of 25. So we take the square root, type in 25, you click on equals, it gives you 5. Then the log of base 10, x equals 2. By the way, these are all base 10s. We don't show it when we write it. And this log is also base 10. So here we're going to rewrite it. 10 squared equals x. Uh, x equals 10 squared. Well, let's see. We can say 10 y to the x. 2 equals 100. By the way, if this is going a little too fast, pause it and then go over it again. Okay. Uh, let's do some anti-logs like 10 to the 2.5, right? Um, if we look at, let's see, the log key, there's a 10 to the x key. So we press shift, log key, that gives you um, 10, and let's say 0.25. Let's see if that works. Equals, that's right. The notation didn't look right on the calculator, did it? But that is the right answer. Keeps going. Uh, 316.227, and there's another 7 there. Uh, another anti-log, 10 to the uh, minus 1.5. Same thing, shift, and then the log key. And then you're going to put negative, not subtract, 1.5 equals. And it gives you 0 0.03162, and it keeps on going, which is correct. 10 to the 1 half. Um, so, same thing, shift, uh, 10 to the x, and I'm seeing if there is a ABC key, well, I don't see one, I don't think, yeah, it's right here, it's right here, so, 1, ABC, 2, let's see if it works, equals, uh, 3.1622, keeps on going, looks good. Um, by the way, this is a square root of 10. This 2 is an index. That 1 is right here. So if we took the square root of 10 equals, gives you the same answer. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. So what about the log of 8, right? It's base 10. We uh, type log. We press 8 equals. And it gives you 0 0.9030. If you don't like the, when you're typing another number, you see another, you know, the old calculation, you can always press AC, erase, erase it. Um, the log of 8 squared, well, log 8, and then we can square it, equals. That gives you uh, 1.80617. Um, that looks right. There is a, a math um, rule. You can bring the 2 down. 2 log 8. So you can say 2 log 8. And that should be automatically multiplied. Equals. It gives the same answer. Okay. Um... <clears throat> natural log of 8. 
So you uh, press natural log, which is over here. You press 8 equals, and that gives you 2.0794. Okay? Yes. Okay. Now, nat natural log is really the log of base E8, which gives you this answer. E, by the way, is over here. So if you say shift E to the X, you type in 1, that gives you 2.7182, and so on. E is that value. All right, so natural log of E, minus 1.8, shift E to the X, negative 1.8 equals 0 0.1652, and it keeps on going which is right. And lastly, let's say you got the natural log of x equals 3. Remember, natural log is the log of e, x equals 3. And then with the rule, e to the third equals x, we can find what x is. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Shift log key 3 equals. That gives you 20.0855 and so forth. Now, what does this mean? Well, if you say um, the natural log of 20.085 and all the numbers, right, that should give you 3. So if you press log, um, and then, I don't know, if, if that number is there, can we just press equals? Yeah, there it is. So whatever that number is. That's the answer. I guess that's the way around it. And that's equal to 3. Okay, that's a lot of steps. By all means, if it was too fast, just pause the video. Go back to it. And then th this, of course, is more hands-on so that you can see what I'm doing, what are the answers, and so forth. By all means, um, take your time and do other other problems. If you have questions, put them in the discussion or the comment section. Please tell your teacher. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. If you are, if you feel like supporting the channel, you can always donate through the thanks button. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.